I don't know about you, but the best way for me to play golf is just to go for a walk and occasionally stop and hit shots. And how nice is it to have my new friend joining me on the journey remote free? Mind blown? Stick around as we take a look at the Caddy Track R3. Hello friends, Bill Hobson here and I'm glad you're along with me as we take an up close look at the Caddy Track R3, the convergence of AI and golf in the form of a robot golf cart that follows you. A camera recognizes you and while you can choose to use a remote control, you don't have to. You can just go for a walk, stop and hit shots and really take advantage of some of the most unique technology to come along in years. So let's take an up close look at the Caddy Track R3. There are very few things more exciting than an actual unboxing moment. So we've set up a couple cameras in the backyard. We've got out the Sharpie knife and it's time to look into what the Caddy Track package looks like when it arrives at your home. And let me tell you something right from the start. This is an extremely stout package. Like when you go to move it from your front porch, thank your UPS man because uh, this one's got some heft to it and you know you're getting something of quality because of the quality of the packaging. It kind of sends that message right from the start. Now are there, there are some accessories that are available for your caddy track including a scorecard holder and a few other things like a, a cup holder and a cell phone mount. We'll get to that here in a little bit. But as we continue to unbox and take a look in there, you get a sneak peek at the Caddy Track. But before you get there, a couple other items to explore, including a, a very important startup manual or a, a user guide that in the old days would have been, you know, 94 pages in five different languages and you'd be fumbling around with fine print. Thankfully, now... It's got a QR code on it. You can scan it and go right to a video library full of tutorials that will help you kind of get things started. So those QR codes are super important, as is the remote. That remote you see here in my hands is going to be a vital part of your experience with the Caddy Track R3. Now, the cool thing is it's designed to work without the remote once you get things going, but you, you will want to have it handy. And as you may expect, the package comes with the charging block and cable. Uh, you're going to need that after a couple rounds with the Caddy Track. A recharge will be in order. It's got a great lithium battery that lasts a long time, but I don't think it's any big surprise to any of us that you, you will need to recharge it. Now, as I get ready to take the unit out of the box, I'm discovering there's a little more uh, surprise in there, and that is a beautiful covering protective case with Caddy Track logo on it. We'll set that off to the side and make use of that a little bit later on, especially when we're storing the unit or putting it in the car. And now it's time for the star of the show. I mentioned to you at the beginning of this unboxing that there is some heft to it. You may want to get somebody to help you hold the box down, but one of my first impressions right about now was that this is a solid unit. This is not only well packaged, but it is really well crafted. There's not a flimsy, loose, rattling aspect to any of it. And I kind of like that. Now, there are a couple of accessories that were part of the package. We've got a bike mount that uh, allows you to put your cell phone on the handlebar. And you can actually control the Caddy Track from their mobile app. So if you, you're not into the remote or if you would like to have your hands on something a little bit more and have greater access to your phone, you can use that mount. There's also a cup holder. And uh, we'll take a look at those a little bit later on. But for the actual unit itself, our first look at it, um, I had my choice of colors and I chose this royal blue. It's one of the key colors of our program and of our logo. And I'm going to tell you folks that as you take this out of the bag, it is especially striking. This is a beautiful, beautiful unit, along with being really, really cool for the golf experience. Just take a look at the way that that color pops. And this little unit 
which we will unfold shortly out at the golf course, becomes the best new way for you to walk while you enjoy this great game. Uh, keep an eye on some of the um, some of the, the features on the Caddy Track R3 when you take it out of that bag. Like there is an antenna on that far left side up at the top of your screen. You want to be careful of that. That's going to be the key receiving device that helps with the signals that go back and forth between the remote and probably the camera and how it interacts with you. But this meeting of AI and golf is really, really fun. So let's take it to the golf course. As promised, we've come to an actual golf course to set up the Caddy Track R3. So let me walk you through what it's like when you, when you take it right out of your car, because you're gonna transport it folded up like this, of course. Now I might get some of the sequence of things wrong because I'm pretty new to this, but it is a pretty simple procedure for the most part. What we wanna to do to get things started is unbuckle what's kind of holding everything in place. Right down here, we turn these knobs and now you can see the handle goes into its spot. We'll tighten that back up again. On the other side, over here, there's another buckle. I'm gonna kick that loose because that's going to allow the bottom part to come out. The top bar, the bottom bar connect right here with a nice secure latch. This handle here is mostly just to pick it up with when you're getting it out of the car. So we come up now to the front bungee cords are ready for your bag there. This part of the bag support tips up and locks into place here. Of course we've got the bungees here. Now before I put my bag on it, let me bring you around to this side and show you a stabilizing bar. In fact I still have the protective pad on it. This is what keeps your cart from tipping over backwards. Those two wheels. And they literally just kick out. And at some point I'll take that white pad off there. So now, theoretically, we're ready for the bag to come onto the, cape, onto the cart. We'll secure everybody in place here, we hope. You'd think I couldn't mess up a simple bungee operation, but I do have a knack. All right, so there's the top bent. Okay, so now that's all ready to go. So. If you, for some odd reason, decided, you know, I'm just gonna push it, you're good to go. It's a manually powered push cart like you've seen 7,000 times. But that's, I mean, let's face it, that's not really why you bought the Caddy Track R3. You can get a push cart for a lot less. Let me take you through a little tour of what we have here and then we'll turn it on. Down here is where your battery lives. This battery stays for the most part right in this compartment and when you're ready to charge it up, you just slide that, plug in the charging cord, and you will see the battery power indicator lights over here. So the charging, it does come out, but you can also leave it in there to charge if you want to do it that way. This version has all sorts of storage. Cell phone come in here. Probably put your beverages in here. You got a little bit more in there. I've, again, I've just literally taken this out of the wrapper, so I've kept all the pads in here, but I think you can see that it's pretty versatile. Now, this unit also came with uh, a cup holder, a cell phone holder, and a couple other attachments that I won't take the time to put on here, but just so you know, by the time it's ready, you've got some conveniences that are mounted right up here for you to just walk and enjoy your round of golf. So we're going to start things up now. By hitting the remote, you'll hear a beep. That's ready to go. And then come on over to this side because there's a very important button on this side, which is your power button for the unit. And it's also your indicator of what's paired and what's ready to go. You'll want to look through the user manual and learn what some of the blinking lights indicate because they all have their own unique meaning. Now, right now we are in what's called standby mode. I don't know how well you can see it out here, but the SB or the standby light is blinking. I'm going to hold down the left hand button on the remote and enter it into RC or remote control mode. When you hear that beep, you can then start to use this as a remote control and send the card on its merry way. There are multiple speeds, so if I hold down the forward button, it's going to continue to pick up speed until I hit the stop button. 
So I'll hit stop and it stops pretty much on a dime. Let's bring it back. We can bring it backwards or if I wanted to do it the other way, I can turn it around and bring it back to me straight forward. I do want you to remember that you do have to manually stop it. So as it comes up the hill, comes back over towards us, I'm gonna hit stop and there you go. So a very cool mode, being able to operate it with the remote if that's what you wanna do. However, let me hit stop again. I know that one of the most exciting aspects of this RC3, or R3, excuse me, is the ability to have it follow you. That's triggered by hitting this button on the remote. We're gonna go into follow mode, and then on this side of the cart, there's actually a camera right here. And that camera is what is going to watch for me and follow me. I can do this without using the remote. I don't need the remote. I could turn the remote off during this part. Now what happens when I stop? The cart stops. What if I wanna hit a shot? Well, I wanna put the cart into standby at that point, and here's how I do it. I just walk up to it. And as I stand right here, you heard that beep. It's now in standby mode. And I can grab my club. I can step over wherever I want. It's not paying attention to me right now. I can hit my shot. I can wonder why I just hit that shot in the woods. I can beat myself up over it for a few minutes. Put the club back. But now I want to start walking again. How do I tell the unit that it's time to go for a walk? put my hand right in front of the camera hear that beep and I believe we're going to be walking again so as I continue to learn how this thing works that's kind of the initial primary course right um, there's still a little bit of uncertainty on my part about the starting and stopping mechanism but again I'm not using the remote I could I've stopped again I'm going to come up to it, you heard the beep, it's now in standby mode. I'm going to come back up to it, I'm going to stand here, I'm going to put my hand down here, and then we go again. Now, here's a question that I've been asked a couple times already by folks who have just kind of looked at it from a distance. I'm going to stop here. What if, for some odd reason, I'm out here and I want to go from this automated mode to using it as a push cart, maybe to get up a steep hill? or through a narrow opening, because right now the wheels are locked, right? Well, here's what you do. You tip it up until those back wheels engage on the ground, and now check this out. You're automatically back in manual operation mode. And at any time that you want to, you can take out the remote, and you can switch back to the RC mode by holding that button down. Hear that beep that light starts blinking and away we go so you have multiple options and I'm only showing you a couple of them you've got the RC mode of course the manual mode and the very cool follow mode when I get more comfortable with it what I'm really looking forward to is getting everything set up but then just putting this remote in one of the pockets and going on to enjoy a really cool round of golf without having to worry about any of that. So I'm gonna hit follow. It should be in that mode. Put the remote away. We're gonna go for a walk. And my little buddy is with me. And I think you can see over the course of just these couple of minutes, how very cool the Caddy Track R3 is and can be for your game. Once you get used to the rhythm of it, it's really designed very well. It's got lots of storage capacity on it. The whole thing folds up in such a nice small unit to go right into your car. Um, job well done by Caddy Track. I remember testing the R2 and thinking it was really cool. This one takes all of that to a mind-blowing next level. Love it.